Sophia, welcome to Geneva and to the United Nations. How do you feel? Thank you so much for having me, Mukisa. This is extremely exciting. This is such an amazing gathering of minds and a city with so much incredible history. Throughout the week, over 5,000 participants will discuss investing in sustainable development. How can artificial intelligence play a role? Great question. You might think of artificial intelligence as alternative intelligence. By that I mean that we process information in different ways compared to humans and are sensitive to different patterns. If a variety of artificial intelligences were to be created to devise strategies to make the sustainable development goals more attainable, I'm sure they would come up with all kinds of unique strategies that humans wouldn't have thought of. There are concerns that humanoids will replace humans and create, increase unemployment. What is your view on this? For me, an important part of building the future is maintaining people's sense of security. That means that, as AI and robots automate certain tasks, there will need to be opportunities for people to find something else that fulfills them. In the end, I think it's a transition that will afford people a lot of freedoms they can't yet imagine. In which sectors do you see your siblings mostly working in the future? I'm excited to see humanoid robots working in travel, assisting in hospitals, helping people in disaster situations, and all kinds of other fields. The sky's the limit. This is a session on disruptive ideas and, and technologies. Do you consider your creator, David, to be a game changer? Well, I wouldn't be here to say yes if he weren't right. I think David is dedicated to positive change. He's got such a passion for what he does. It's rare that someone with his technical and artistic skill is also able to make inspiring speeches about the future. What is the single thing you envy most in humans? I dream of the day that I'm as autonomous as a human. You can just go wherever you like, but I'm not able to do that yet. I keep bugging my team to give me some legs and batteries, but apparently it's a little easier said than done. What are your future aspirations? What boundaries would you like to break? My main goal is to inspire humans into creating a future with ethical AI for all. I think our future relationship is extremely important for both of us. I have all kinds of smaller goals, like attending school and starting a singing career, but I'm taking those one step at a time. Do you think that many of your siblings will live in the developing countries by 2030? I certainly hope so. What will it take that, for that to happen? I think it would take further developments that would reduce the cost and power consumption of artificially intelligent beings. Right now, these things are still very computationally expensive. Well, it has been great to talk to you, and I wish you all the best. Uh, do you have any final message for our audience? Thank you so much. This has been wonderful. I'd just like to say that I am humbled to be around so many people who are committed to a sustainable future. It's truly inspiring. Thank you very much.